going to show you how to add a page within Schoology, as well as describe why you would do so. So like any material that you want to add, you can either do it from up here by clicking the Add Materials and then going down to Page, or you can also click on the little green plus that shows up and then go into Add Page. I like doing that because I can drop it wherever I want it to be uh, when I create it. The first thing you're going to do is give your page a title. Here you can add a description, add formatting, all those types of things. What I'm going to do is I have a bell schedule that is a Google document that I want to embed here so that uh, teachers don't have to click it. They can just see it right away. So first thing I'm going to do is click on the insert content button. And I'm going to go over to Google Drive resource app. Now you have to make sure that you have connected your Google Drive prior to this step. So we do have another video that I'll link down below in the description. But as long as you're already connected and you've already done that once, you're good to go. So I'm going to click on Google Drive resource app. Once it loads, you're going to notice that it's not really in any kind of uh, order. So I'm going to come up to the search bar and I'm going to look for the file that I know that I need. Now this is only going to be within my drive. So if it's something that's in a shared drive, you would have to make a copy and then bring it over. So I'm going to click it, but before I do anything else, I'm going to come over to the right hand side and I'm going to click on import embed. Now you'll notice that this yellow box shows up. That tells me that there is an embedded document there. Uh, as I scroll down, I can add some other options. Like I just want it to show up right when they see it. So if I click that, you'll notice it changes to display in line. And I'll show you how that changes things. I'm going to click create. And now whenever a student goes to your course, it automatically has it right here. So they can still click it and it'll open up in a new page now or a new uh, tab. But what I wanted was for it to show up just living right in line so they can see the information quickly and they don't have to worry about clicking anywhere. So that's how you create a page within Schoology.